Hi friends, in today's lecture, we'll be studying about Aging Analysis Report, how to create it in Excel. Before we start understanding how to create the Aging Analysis Report in Excel, I'll first make you understand about the term Aging Analysis. So, Aging Analysis is a financial analysis technique that helps to analyze and categorize accounts receivable or payable according to their age. This technique is used to determine how long an account has been outstanding and to identify which accounts are overdue and require immediate attention. Aging analysis involves sorting accounts by their due dates and creating separate categories based on the length of time that the account has been outstanding. Typically, accounts are sorted into categories such as current, 30 days, 60 days past due, 90 days past due, over 90 days past due, and over 120 days past due. The purpose of aging analysis is to identify accounts that are overdue and to track performance of accounts receivable or payable over time. So let me show you how you can do the same in Microsoft Excel. So I have a sheet with me in which you can see that there are columns like serial number, customer name, invoice number, invoice date, and amount. And basis that I've made this table in which I can see the customer name and I've bucketed them into 0 to 30 days with reference to today's date. Assuming that today's date is 6th March 2023. So with reference to today's date with 0 to 30 days, which are the companies which fall in that bucket? 31 to 60 days overdue, which companies fall into that brick bucket and so on. And I also want a total of that. Now, the beauty of creating this aging report is you have to do it only once. And later on, if you add any new data, example, I type one new customer name and a uh, new invoice details and a new date and a new amount then I have to just come into this table right click and select refresh and you will see that new table new record gets added and it also gets categorized into the respective bucket if I change the date maybe to 31 well 2022 and I again right click over here and I refresh it so you will see that the bucket now comes into 61 to 90 days day so let me show you today how you can create this aging report right from the scratch so I have made one more excel sheet which is just blank and containing the data so it's only containing serial number, customer name, invoice number, invoice date, and amount. And now I want to make the aging report. So what you have to do, you have to first click anywhere within the data. Then click on, in the menu, click on data. And here select from table. Then just click on OK. And this takes you into the Power Query of Microsoft Excel. So don't get confused if the interface looks different. It is very similar to how the Excel works. So here you can see uh, the serial number column, the customer name, the invoice number, the invoice date, and the amount. But you can see that close to the invoice date, it is also showing us the time. Now, if I don't want the time, I'll click on this button over here and just select date. So it will convert. It will ask me the selected column as an existing type conversion. 
would you like to replace the existing conversion? I will select replace. So it gets converted into date. Alright. Now I will select only the columns which I want. So suppose I want customer name. So I click on the heading customer name. It gets selected. I keep the control key press and click on invoice date and that gets selected. I keep the control key pressed and click on amount and amount gets selected. Now if I need only these three columns, other three columns I do not need. So I would right click on any of the heading and I would select remove other columns. So now we have only three columns, customer name, invoice date and amount. Now I'll click on the invoice date column over here and over here I would click on add column and in the add column here you can see there is date. In date I would select age. So you can see that now it is showing you the aging with reference to the current date. And you can make this into a whole number by clicking on this icon over here and just selecting whole number. So you can see the whole number over here. Now after this, I want I no longer need this invoice date since I've got the age over here. So I just select this column, right click on it and select remove. So that is gone. Now I have only the age. Now I want to add one column in which I want to see the buckets. So in order to see the buckets, what I would do, I have to select conditional column over here. So in the add column, you have conditional column. So I click on conditional column. Now in conditional column, it asks me, you can give any name to the column. So I give it some name like aging. You can give any name to the column. Then it asks you which column you want. So I want age. Then the operator I select is less than or equal to. And I will select 30. And here, what is the output you want? I want 0 to 30 days. This is what should be written if the age is less than 30. Again, I would add one more clause and I will say if age is again I will select is less than or equal to now I would select 60 and here I would type 31 to 60 days. Again I would add a clause. I would select age. Again, I would select is less than or equal to. Again, I would select 90. And I would type 61 to 90 days. Again, I would select add clause. Again, I would select age. Again, I would select is less than or equal to. And here I would select 120 and I would type 91 to 120 days. Then I would add clause. Then I would select add age. Then I would select is greater than. And I would select 120. And I would type above. 120 days. So I have finished giving all the conditions and given a name to the column and I would select OK. So you can see it accordingly creates the buckets. Now I don't need this age column since I have got the aging buckets. So I will just select the age column. I would right click on it and I would select remove. So I got the customer name, amount and aging. Now what I want is I want to, I want a total of all these respected columns. 
So for that, I go into transform and in transform, I have this pivot column. In pivot column, it asks you which column you want to total. So I want to total the amount column and I would select OK. So you can see it has accordingly totaled it bucket wise. Only thing is wherever there was no value, it has substituted it with none. So if I want to replace those values, I would select the first column and then I would go to the last column and press shift and select the last column. And then I would select in this transform you have replace values. So I would select replace null with what? With zero. Then I would select OK. So wherever none was, it would replace it by zero. Now, the only thing I want is, I want the bucket should be in the proper order, zero to 30. Then I want 31 to 60. So I select this column and bring it here. Then I want 61 to 90. So I bring this column here. And then I want 91 to 120. And then 120 days above. So now my uh, aging report is ready. To go back to Excel, you have to click on File and here you get Close and Load to or you can alternately click on Home and here also you get Close and Load. You get two options. If you click on the first Close and Load, the result will go into a new Excel sheet. If you select close and load to, it will ask you where to paste the data within your sheet. So I selected the second option. So I am selecting now, I want it within the existing sheet. And now it is asking me the location. So I give, this is the location. And I select OK. And instantly, I will just select load. So the table will come over here. I can close this workbook query and you can see that you got the table over here bucket wise. Now if I want a total below, then in the table design, I would just click on total row. So you get the total row. Then I will just click here and click on this drop down and select sum. And then I would just drag it to the right and I get the total. Then I can select all this data. I can click on home and make it to currency. Now, as I told you, let me add some data and see whether it gets reflected here. So I add one more row and I add a new client name and I add a new invoice number and I add a new date and a new amount and hit enter. I can just increase the column width. So by default it will not reflect until you come here, right click in the table and select refresh. Then you can see that new row has been added and it has been put into the respective bucket. If I change this date, accordingly it will put it into the relevant bucket. So friends, hope you have learned something new, how to create a aging report in Excel. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll see you again in the next lecture. Till that time, Goodbye.